In the last three weeks, troops of the Nigerian military said they have recorded significant milestone in both kinetic and non-kinetic operation across the country. Acting Director of Defense Media Operation, Brigadier General Abdullahi Haruna Ibrahim, disclosed this Thursday at the Defense Headquarters bi-weekly press briefing in Abuja as Clairview's Gloria Ta now reports. Scores of terrorists, kidnappers, and other criminal elements were neutralized and others arrested at different locations of the country. At the Defense Headquarters bi-weekly press briefing this Thursday, the Acting Director of Defense Media Operations, Brigadier General Abdullahi Haruna Ibrahim, said troops have continued to gain an upper hand against insurgents in the Northeast and other parts of the country through coordinated operations between its land, air and sea components. On the 17th of June 2023, troops in conjunction with Nigerian police personnel responded to information on the movement of bandits on 20 motorcycles and camels with Russell cows moving towards Ilela town in Ilela local government area of Sokoto state. Troops mobilized to the location and arrested four suspected bandits and two suspected informants and recovered 20 motorcycles and four mobile phones. In the same vein, on the 19th of June 2023, troops on fighting patrol raided a bandit hideout in Tumbuluku in Guadabao local government area of Sokoto State. However, the bandits on sighting troops fled, but troops further exploited the general area and arrested seven suspected terrorists. In a related development, on the 15th of June 2023, the air component of Operation Hader in Daji conducted air interdiction operation and identified terrorist leader Mahmoud Aboru enclave in Zulmi local government area of Zamfara State. The location was observed to be active with activities of Boko Haram. The air component engaged the location. Feedback revealed that several terrorists were neutralized in the airstrike. On efforts to stem banditry, kidnapping and other forms of criminality in the North Central region, Brigadier General Ibrahim noted that troops on surveillance operations neutralized and arrested dozens of criminals operating in the region. Worthy of note is the arrest of Abdullahi Kwaro, a notorious criminal on the wanted list of troops in Plateau State. In a similar operation on the 22nd of June 2023, troops raided a suspected criminal hideout at Njelu in Ofu, local government area of Kogi State, and made contact with the criminals. Following the firefight, troops neutralized one criminal and recovered one AK-47 rifle, fully loaded, and two extra loaded magazines. On efforts to combat crude oil theft and illegal oil bunkering in the Niger Delta, the defense headquarters said troops of Operation Delta Safe and Octopus Grip made significant strides in demobilizing several illegal oil refining sites in the region. Consequently, during the period under review, troops of Operation Delta Safe, while conducting Operation Octopus Grip, discovered and destroyed 30 illegal operating uh, refinery sites 125 tanks, 227 ovens, 11 dock out pits, 21 wooden boats, 10 vehicles were equally recovered, 20 motorcycles, 8 weapons, 330 assorted ammunition, and 42 economic saboteurs were also arrested. The defense headquarters noted that between the period of 15th June to 6th July 2023, a total of 967 terrorists and their family members surrendered to troops at different locations in the northeast. The briefing also touched on the killing of Gambo Jundula, a notorious Boko Haram terrorist commander, and the arrest of two suspected gun runners in Borno State, the arrest of 15 criminals hibernating in a hotel in Anambra State, and the raid on a suspected kidnapper's den in Enugu, Abia, and a state. Gloria Atta, reporting for Clearview News.